Welcome to the DSO No Code Institute. Today I'm going to show you how we built the first ever integration between DSO and Notion. So if you've never heard of Notion before, Notion is actually quite a beautiful tool that we've been using for the last, I'd say good two to three years. Notion is definitely, if not the most famous productivity tool today, it's one of the most famous top three project management tools that a lot of entrepreneurs and even big size companies are using. I'm not very keen on tools that typically try to do everything good at once. Like I'm really keen on hiring good people that are talented in doing one thing and hiring services that are good at doing one specific thing. But Notion truly is a star at just project managing overall. Like we just don't like to have to rely to uh, keeping track of tasks using Asana and then our uh, document creation and Google Drive. Like that's just a mess. We just use Notion for everything and everything is in there and all of our team has access to uh, the same exact things. Um, and it just works really beautifully. And so the, the backstory as to why we even decided to create a door that opens uh, the diesel blockchain to Notion users is because we were actually using Notion to keep track of all of the NFTs that were selling through Geek NFTs. So we have a database inside Notion that I'm gonna show you in a second where we keep track of all of the different NFTs that we have, all of the different installments, whether they are a following a subscription, a subscription price model or whether they're a one-time payment. And th there's a whole lot of data and information that we are managing inside Notion and that we're able to not only push to the diesel blockchain, but we're actually also pushing it to our bubble app. So we're kind of like doing a lot of magic at the same time and having everything get created inside Notion speeds up the process a whole lot. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you here real quick. As you can see here, there is a database inside Notion. Again, um, if you're familiarized with Notion, you're probably already familiarized with this look. Um, this is just a testing uh, database that I'm going to be showing you. We obviously don't have all of the NFTs that we have in Inside Geeks uh, listed here, but you know, just for the sake of perp uh, for the purpose of actually testing this, it's going to work. Um, and as you can see, we've got here a whole lot of different NFTs with their corresponding names, collection names. We've got bubble IDs for them. Uh, we've got different tiers here to select from the status, which is good. These two columns are going to be important, uh, whether they're following a subscription price model or whether they're for auction, uh, you know, their corresponding prices and so forth and so on. And here we even have a check to tell our little node JavaScript that we have sitting on a separate server, which is the one that's going to be doing a whole the whole magic, uh, whether we want to actually create NFTs out of these things or not because we can just push things to bubble without actually sending them to the diesel blockchain and without creating NFTs out of them, or we can do both. Um, here we've got the corresponding number of tokens, we've got images for them, percentage of royalties, and so forth and so on. I mean, we can you can make this as um, complicated as you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now how we've structured this inside Bubble. So as you can, as I've been saying for a while now, our goal here is to be able to open the door to the 1.5, almost 2 million Bubble developers to the diesel blockchain. And in a few months, we're hopefully going to be productizing our technology so that anyone can use our tech to build their own bubble ops powered by Deso. So here, as you can see, I'm inside the Geek NFTs marketplace. And if you actually go to this page yourself, you're not going to see this magic button, which is the one that actually starts the whole process of retrieving information from Notion. So you got to be logged in as an admin to see this. But as you can see, we've got six different NFTs listed here. And I can go to different pages, page three, page four, page five, page six, seven, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and actually create that dinosaur NFT right within Notion. Got it set up so that I can just do this real quick here on camera. Um, the only thing that I really need to do here is to um, make the status of this NFT publish. Just go to my magical button. And if I click create items and NFTs, it's going to take a little a little bit just because there's a whole lot of, of magic happening in the background. And as you can see, we've got two NFTs here that we've introduced two more items inside our bubble database. And I'm actually going to show you our bubble database so you can see it. So uh, just as a quick recap here, we've got two more items here. I've actually replaced the name instead of uh, uh, dogs and dinosaurs. It's actually it, it actually says test one and test two. So you can clearly see it. Our status here inside Notion actually gets updated in real 
real time status and uh, as the status of the items inside bubble changes. So as you can see now, it says live instead of publish mode. And we actually also have some more items here. So for example, we have for the item and NFT URL that gets created. So we can go directly to diamond up here. As you can see, we've got test two, it got created here. And we have test one as well, if you'd like to see that, boom, and we're using a test account, of course. And as you can see inside our bubble database, we've got two more items here, test one and test two that have been created with their corresponding um, information. I actually didn't fill out the descriptions for these, but if we were to type in descriptions for all of these inside Notion, so for example, it only says test one, but you can actually make it as long and as elaborate as you'd like. So if we go inside the George Washington one, you can see the description here is much longer and much more elaborate. But yeah, so hopefully you can kind of see how how we're using this new DSO Notion integration. And it's it's honestly a Notion bubble integration as well. We're kind of opening up the door between bubble and DSO to Notion and vice versa for us to really just keep track of our databases, manage them directly from within one central location. It's very easy for us to just manage everything from Notion without having to be getting in and editing the bubble database and all of that. We can just keep track of everything inside Notion and we can customize the level, the level of integration that we like. So if we only want to create an item inside Bubble, but not send it to the diesel blockchain, we can do that and vice versa. It's really powerful. And yeah, I, I'm actually very curious that we haven't really made a decision yet as to whether how much effort we want to be putting into building out this integration. Like we can take this as far as we like in terms of developing more stuff between diesel and Notion. I mean, it'd be really cool, for example, to just be able to publish blog posts directly from within Notion to the diesel blockchain blockchain and stuff like that. That is something that we can absolutely do. Um, if you'd like to see us build more stuff between Notion and Deso, just let us know. And if you've got a cool blockchain project that you'd like to work on, uh, just go to desoandelco.com and send us a message. We'll be more than happy to talk to you. And yeah, just know that we, we, we're we here. We keep on working really hard and just wait because we've got a lot of really cool stuff that we're going to be presenting to you guys over the coming weeks. I'm Tony Lewis from the Deso and Elko Institute, and I will see you around. Just, hey, follow me on Deso too. Bye. Bye.